And good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are coming in from the Ethernet today. Welcome back to Tech Talks to Go. And we're picking up our conversation on Citrix Smart Tools with our special guest today, Blake Connell. Did I get it right this time, Blake? You did, Sean. Yes, yes. Improvement every week. We brought you back to talk about what again? Smart tools, of course. That's right. Citrix. In Boston, we pronounce that wicked smart tools. So, Blake, uh, just as a recap from the last episode for our guests who didn't see it, what is uh, smart tools? Well, yeah, so smart tools are a set of services that we deliver as part of Citrix Cloud. Uh, If you have the customer success services, select uh, support service offering, you have access to these. So the one we want to demo here today is Smart Check. What exactly is Smart Check? Yeah, well, Smart Check is proactive health checks of your environment. So it's, you know, uh, preventative maintenance, if you will. So if we can catch things early, uh, it prevents uh, disease later on down the road. Okay. Is, is the idea here. All right. And that reminds me in watching, and I recommend all our viewers kind of catch the center. You know where I'm going is to catch <laughs> the synergy sessions and you compared it to dental floss somehow. So, <laughs> so yeah. enlighten us, Blake, what is it about dental floss and smart tools or smart check? Yeah, that was an unfortunate <laughs> analogy from uh, a late session at synergy, but, but yeah. essentially smart More tools. Like a and- late night session at synergy. <laughs> but anyways, uh, that's right. So smart check is similar to, uh, again, any preventative maintenance that you might do, you know, when you think of your own health or, you know, you're going to the dentist, uh, you know, typically here in the States twice a year, you go for your, your usual check and they, they do some, uh, uh, scanning and, and working on your, your, your teeth and your mouth. And, and what I often get from my dentist is, Hey, you know, if you would just do the daily dental floss, that would really go a long way to making this less painful every time you come in to see us. And so again, mm-hmm. with smart check, if, if you can run these health checks on your Citrix environment, you know, as regularly as you'd like, in fact, you can do it as often as you'd like, but even on a, a nightly or a weekly basis, you can catch a lot of really low hanging fruit, easy things to do that keeps your system uh, maintained and healthy. And, and then you, you know, you, you won't get into the uh, more damaging problems down the road by right. deferring the maintenance. Okay. So, and it can be automated, right? That's right. Yep. We'll take a look at that. Okay, so to carry your analogy further, it's like somebody coming into your bedroom during the night and flossing your teeth for you? Uh, Yeah, that's really creepy the way you just described it, but uh, I'll just let that hang there. That's that's what I aim (laughs) to do. Yeah, that's what I aim to do. That's for sure. All right, Blake, I think I just made you a presenter. And we can start the smart check demo all right so i see the screen up and assume already logged into smart.cloud.com and i have to say it again i love the fact that citrix owns the domain cloud.com that's right yep yep i've dialed i've uh i've logged in here really easy to do go to smart.cloud.com use my citrix credentials and i was in and no problems and and let's uh we've seen the four panels that you get to when you you log into smart tools and let's jump right into smart check uh, so we'll jump into this. This is again our proactive, uh, preventative healthcare for our, our systems. And you can see here in in my screen, I've got several sites that are connected to SmartCheck. Okay. And so these what, sites are all within one customer or one company. Is that's one right, company. all within one customer. I can go into um, to my account and change customer if I'd like. But so we're showing one particular customer here, uh, okay. Shiva org. And just for drill, one of the first things you'd want to do if you're new to SmartCheck is to connect to it. And the way we do that typically is through an agent. So you download a, an agent that you install on your delivery controller. And as you can see here on screen, it, it does that and connects back to Smart Tools. And this is how we actually uh, communicate with your site. So it's done securely over port 443 HTTPS. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's a secure connection, but we... Uh, we do that, and um, and then you've connected to your site. A couple questions on that, Blake. Sure. Is that, um, if people are familiar with Citrix Cloud and the architecture there, is that agent kind of similar to the Cloud Connector that we use? 
It's, it is similar, but it's specific to smart tools. So we use agents okay. both here in SmartCheck as well as in mm -hmm. SmartScale. And again, that's how we can communicate with the site. Um, I'll jump in here and just show this is a Zen Server 7.6 site that we have. And when you, when you connect to it via, again, the agent, what you first get uh, when you start running these uh, preventative health scans is a high level view of your site with the delivery groups, controllers, machine catalogs. And you can mm -hmm. see here, I've been of course running these checks and we have several <laughs> errors and warnings and, and updates. And by the way, this is a, a test environment for us, so not to be alarmed. So. Okay. That's All right. right. <laughs> um, and we can take a look at the different check sets that we have run. We've run four different check sets that we offer today. Site health checks, these apps okay. and deaths, desktops, health checks, update checks, and LTSR compliance checks. Okay, and, a couple questions yep. here, Blake. So do I have to have the agent installed? You don't have to have the agent installed. In fact, if you've uploaded a diagnostic bundle uh, to us at some point, we will actually discover the site automatically for you. Um, mm -hmm. In fact, if I go back here to our first screen, uh, let's take a look at this site, this EC2 site. Uh, and this was auto discovered as indicated here by this little doohickey. This was discovered through our call home or Citrix Scout bundle that you previously uploaded. But it does recommend that you actually install the agent so that you can run these additional checks through Smart Check, these proactive checks. Okay, all right. But still no sensitive information is getting shared back. That's right, nope. Okay. Yeah, no identifiable right. information and it's, it's, um, uh, it's very secure. And so if we go into this environment, um, again, we've got these four check sets. And in fact, let me just touch on one of the things that's that came up, I think, in our last conversation was, well, what are these health checks? Mm -hmm. And if I just pop over here really quickly, this is in our documentation. This actually talks about what the health checks are. We have a whole bunch of different health checks. And again, we keep adding to them. Yeah. Uh, and if you scroll down, for example, site health checks, these are all the FMA services <clears throat> that we check uh, again, on a regular basis, as regular as you'd like. So there's there's every FMA service. There's you know, what are these apps and desktop checks? This is more of a uh, heartbeat check, if you will. And the update checks looks for hot fixes and patches, and the LTSR check mm -hmm. runs the report. So this tells you exactly what we're we're checking. But anyway, back here, let's uh, we're back at Smart Check. Let's just take a look at our controller machine since we seem to have some issues here. I can click on the icon, and it'll actually bring up this component. And I can okay. see here, um, if we list it out, oh, there's a whole bunch of things we can take a look at. And one of the things I always like to show is is the list of uh, fixes that are suggested for us. So here's, an, again, a hot fix that's suggested that we install. And if I click on it, on the right-hand side, I get information about that hot check or hot fix. Mm -hmm. And even more convenient, it actually lists directly to the KB article tells me in detail, what is this fix? Why do I need it? And I can actually log in and download it. And again, if I choose to, I can install it. Okay. All right. So when we, uh, again, when we first introduced Smart Check, uh, this was the feature that people were really excited about. Um, mm -hmm. And again, kind of going back to our first session, rather than having to proactively go to our websites and troll around and scroll through, you know, thousands of articles and, and other pieces of information of, and try to discern what's applicable to my site or not. Here, this proactively just informs me uh, of what's interesting. And again, it doesn't automatically install anything. You still choose to do it, but it, it's right. It presents it to me. So it's really easy. Okay. It's kind of a web MD type, you know, go research. And then if you want to take the action, you can take the action. Exactly. Exactly. And of course it's color coded blue, orange, red, indicating severity. That's right. And we, um, I can't emphasize enough, we spend quite a bit of effort with our product design team to really get this right. So we've, we've really tried to make this as intuitive as possible. Um, yep. And in fact, the, so let me scroll, scroll up here. The, the magic to all this, of course, is uh, we have on the left-hand side and in the configuration side, the different check sets available. So we have four mm -hmm. of them currently. And this is yep. where I can schedule them to run on a, you know, a, a schedule that I deem useful to me. There's a default schedule, but I can change that, you know, in, a, in the calendar every day, every week at a certain time. Uh, so I can run these checks automatically uh, to run at night. And 
you know, create these reports. And in fact, mm -hmm. um, I'll show you how to set it up. But if I cruise over here to my inbox, don't look yet. Okay. <laughs> don't look at all my email. We'll black that out <laughs> in the, in the post-production. Don't worry about it. But if we scroll back over here to my <laughs> inbox, this is what I receive every morning. I get a, a summary report from Smart Tools. Mm -hmm. And in this case, hey, no issues were found on my 7.6 POC site. Uh, you know, and it ran these check sets. And again, this is something that was really compelling to our Citrix IT administrators. In addition to surfacing hotfixes applicable to my site, the fact that I can get a report every morning, I can look at it on my phone or an email. This is terrific. I don't even have to log into Smart Tools to see the information. I can just right. get the report. So if your responsibility is the admin for the site, making sure the site is up and healthy and that there are no issues, you get this email, you still make your tea time, Everything is good. Exactly. As they say in Brooklyn, bada bing, bada boom. Exactly. Exactly. That concludes this episode of Tech Talks To Go. I'm your host, Sean Donahue. Special thanks to our guest, Blake Cannell, for his browsing demonstration of Smart Check, part of Citrix Smart Tools. Remember, subscribe to this channel. You'll get updates on future episodes. Read Blake's blog, citrix.com slash blogs. Go to smart.cloud.com to start your trial of Citrix Smart Tools. And of course, follow us on Twitter. Suggest future episodes. Ask questions. Put them in the comments or tweet it out to hashtag Citrix Tech. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.